Here is an answer explanation for final exam question number 85 in Electricity Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, please refer to page 340. Suppose that we equip a mobile robot, that's this green dot here, with a fluxgate magnetometer designed to allow it to navigate using the geomagnetic lines of flux for reference. Those lines of flux in a given location here are indicated in their pink. They show up as these pink curves here. We should not expect this device to pour, perform well with the robot located where? Well, let's look at the various choices. Near the geomagnetic equator? Well, let's imagine, first of all, that this robot can roam all over the surface of the Earth. It's, for example, it is a high-speed robot aircraft, possibly a guided intercontinental missile, something that takes advantage of the Earth's magnetic field in order to navigate itself with a fluxgate magnetometer. That's what a fluxgate magnetometer is. It is a robot navigation device that uses magnetic lines of flux in order to get the data that the robot needs to find its way. Well, we would expect that this should work all right near the geomagnetic equator. There are geomagnetic lines of flux at the equator, and the robot could take advantage of them there. How about choice B, at any point not on the Earth's surface? Well, we just got done calling this a robot aircraft. It could also be a robot ship, a robot satellite, but it certainly would function above the Earth's surface because uh, the geomagnetic field extends quite a ways out into space from the Earth. How about choice C, inside a steel-walled warehouse? Well, that's the choice that we want here. Choice C. If we enclose this whole thing in a steel chamber, that steel, being a ferromagnetic substance, is going to, at the very least, mess up the geomagnetic field. And if, in fact, the entire enclosure is made out of steel, which is a ferromagnetic substance, it will block the geomagnetic field out altogether. So C is, in fact, the answer. That is the environment in which we would not expect this type of a robot to work well. How about choice D, over water? Well, it'll work fine over water. How about E, on board a fast-moving aircraft? Well, that'd be one of the ideal applications for this. A robot with a fluxgate magnetometer that operates according to the geomagnetic field. Now, one choice that I could have included here if I really wanted to make this question messy and esoteric, but I didn't have the mind or the heart to, would be to say, in the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle. One of the theories about, you've heard about that, you can Wikipedia or Google on Bermuda Triangle. Now, I don't claim to know very much about this phenomenon, but one of the theories is that the Earth's magnetic field is all messed up in the Bermuda Triangle sometimes because there are some subsurface anomalies or something so that a mobile robot might have trouble navigating in there just like apparently some human piloted craft have had a, enough trouble navigating in there so that they went in and never came out. Anyway though, in this particular question, written as it is, the answer is C. If we have a robot 
that uses the Earth's magnetic field to navigate itself, we can, cannot expect it to work very well inside of, of a warehouse that has steel walls. <clears throat>